Now, the head of Europol, which is Europe's intelligence agency, is warning that the cyber attack could spread further. And CGTN's Nathan King has the latest. The numbers are climbing. Now more than 200,000 computers locked down and held for ransom. And Europol, Europe's intelligence agency, is estimating it could get worse. We're in the face of an escalating threat. If the numbers are going up, I'm worried about how, how the numbers will continue to grow when people go to work and turn the machines on Monday morning. The malicious software called WannaCry locked computers and demanded payment of between three and $600 to restore access. So far, intelligence chiefs say few have paid the ransom. But of course, there are amounts uh, that are being demanded in this case, relatively small amounts, $300 rising to 600 if you don't pay within three days. Remarkably few payments so far that we've noticed as, as, we're, as we're tracking it. So most people are not paying this. Now the focus is on trying to catch whoever spread the virus. It's believed the software may have been crafted from data stolen from the U.S. intelligence service, the National Security Agency. It's the latest example of cyber weapons or defenses falling into the wrong hands and shows how vulnerable the world's networks are. The best offense is a good defense, say security experts. Update your computer's security software and companies and individuals are doing that right now. But the thing is, is that this technology developed so quickly and cyber weapons are so much easier to deploy than conventional weapons. It's a cat and mouse game between laws and regulations and enforcement and the latest malware that can spread around the globe. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington. Well, let's get more details on this. I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Bright Amawador. He's the head of Information Security and Risk at the Cellulent Group. Very welcome to the studio, Bright. Thank you very much. Now, 200,000 computers affected in over 150 countries across the globe. Uh, experts agree this is one of the most widespread attacks that the world has ever seen. Yes. So what is your take on, on what happened and certainly how it's been handled so far? Uh, this has been happening throughout many other ways, but for now, it's just that this malware, this ransomware, as they call it, is it's a bit, it's a little bit more intelligent. It's a simple thing, but I would call it more intelligent in the fact that it it spreads through the easiest ways, mm -hmm. emails, mm -hmm. and it's taking advantage of the fact that certain computers are not patched or they're not secured in a way that um, they are always susceptible to actually getting hacked. Now, um, the computers that are actually getting affected are Windows XP, Windows 7, and some version of Windows servers, which uh, Microsoft have taken an active um, role in trying to, to secure them right now. So it's, 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 it's kind of getting faster than we, ex we expected. Mm. Yeah. Are you, what are your thoughts as an expert on how it's been handled so far? For example, Microsoft did say uh, that some people can take on some of those old versions yes. uh, of Windows and maybe that could keep them protected. What, what's Ma your take? Right now, Microsoft doesn't support security for Windows XP anymore, actually. But I was happy that for the first time, just like, you know, this is actually, people still use Windows XP. Mm -hmm. As much as it's outdated, they have released patches for that, mm -hmm. which, which <laughs> you still do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> which they actually do, do um, trying to patch those systems. Mm -hmm. So they were fast in trying to, to solve the problem. Right. But this could just be the beginning. Because as of today, the, uh, the, the, that particular ransomware has changed its tactics, mm. has changed ways of how it's affecting people, has changed. A new version has come out, basically. Mm. And uh, we are just about to see more than what we're seeing right now. Mm. Yeah. Now, how shocked are uh, people in your industry uh, by this, what's happening right now? And certainly, I'd, I'd also like to get your take on how does one protect themselves? Because okay. there are countries in Africa, including Kenya, yeah. that were affected by this. Actually, we, we got a first report of Kenya been affected today uh, and it's spreading wide across South Africa also another country that got affected a few hours ago that I got, I got to know um, we we are get, we're shocked we're shocked in the sense of how fast it's spreading it's taking advantage of very simple vulnerabilities that are out there which um, you actually no one ever thinks about that you know cybersecurity is always an afterthought it's never a thing that people think about in the beginning of business or in the, in the, in the workplaces so um, Simple ways that you can actually stop this, there's something called PowerShell. If you can disable PowerShell on the system, if you don't need it, don't use it then. Emails that you receive, do they come from a legitimate person? Do they come from a source that actually is legit? So look at the emails that you get. Mm -hmm. Look at the kind of documents that you get. For example, why would I send you a Microsoft Word document zipped? Unless it's really big, I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. So it has to be something which is, we need to be very careful. We need to be very, cybersecurity awareness is, 
a, it's a global problem right now. So we need to take active role in trying to identify all these problems that are coming out there. Mm. And you're right, people just don't know. Don't like know. you said, it's an afterthought, it's an afterthought. Uh, for most yeah. of us. Now, experts like you, like you just said it, that uh, we're entering a new age of known as cyber insecurity. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on the threats that poses? Give us a, a greater scope of a cyber insecurity and the threat it poses. Right now, mm -hmm. your washing machine is connected to your phone. Your watch is connecting to the cameras. Your baby monitor. Microwaves too? Microwaves too. Really? Because the thing is, even your fridge is connected. So when you actually run out of milk, it lets you know. Everything is connected. As we call it right now, the Internet of Things. So for the fact that everything is getting connected, we're getting more open to more attacks. See, this technology is created by human beings. We make mistakes. So the fact that we'll keep on making mistakes, people are out there who are always trying to find ways to exploit these vulnerabilities. Mm. So we, we start at the point that we we have to take active role ourselves. We don't leave it to the hackers or we don't leave it to global cybersecurity engineers to be able to, um, to secure us. It's a, it's a personal responsibility that we all have to take. Mm. Well, yeah. I'm sure globally everybody's sitting up and paying attention now. Yes, I hope, I hope they are. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank in you the very studio, much, Bright. Uh, thank Bright you so Maud, much. Dr. Bright Maudo, who, of course, is uh, the head of information security, uh, a director at Cellulant uh, Group.